Taurus, hi, welcome to your love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Taurus. If you are returning to my channel, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Coral Tree Tarot here. These readings are timeless and general. So please only take what resonates and let's jump right into it, Taurus. Let's see what's happening for you. I will come back to Tarot, but I'm going to pull some oracles first. Let's see what's happening for you. Defensive. Okay. Be careful with this person, Taurus. Um, the fact that this person is defensive, uh, it's not letting you in. It's not addiction. Uh, it's, it's for a reason. This person may have alternate you know, um, motives. Um, it doesn't mean that they are not interested in you. I kind of feel that this person, it's um, fighting themselves. I hold back myself from wanting you. Um, and I kind of feel happy about it because it looks like there is some addiction here as well as some other... Um, energies that talk about that this person might not necessarily be the best match for you they may have other options um they may have um they have they may have some i don't want to say it but i'll, I'll put it in a very straightforward way issues with them, themselves with their own you know um identity, acceptance, low self-esteem, some sort of, you know, emotional stuff, but, um, and they are helping themselves to overcome all the unprocessed you know, issues or um, yeah, with you know, with medication or basically substance abuse. That that doesn't mean that this person is not into you. I like the fact that they are holding uh, uh, themselves back. From engaging in you because this person looks like trouble, Taurus. What's this wants to come out? Six of Wands. They feel lucky to have they have met you. They feel very lucky they have met you with the Six of Wands. There is a lot of red flags here uh, about this person, about themselves, and I feel there are some deeper problems that this person is not resolving in the right way, um, and that's why they might be appearing defensive, difficult to communicate with, especially if they are under influence of some sort of medication or other substances. But I feel this is a blessing in disguise. Boy, Ten of Pentacles in the position of now. Um, I feel you know this person through your family. Um, this, this is someone very familiar to you and vice versa. Um, you may have cut that person out already from your life. The Queen of Swords here. Yes, there is an energy here of 
talking about possible family, possible connection through a family. Um, otherwise, look, this person does want to work at some clarity or communication. Oh, okay. I got all the coins now, almost all. I feel if this person, you know, um, has options or has had options, now they are starting to have some clarity about uh, there is Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups and Ace of Swords here. I feel this person sees you as someone that they could have a relationship with. They all become clear uh, about it with this Ace of Swords here. I do see the other queens as very possible other people that this person is entertaining as well at the same time. Perhaps that's why you cut them out. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. I mean, both here, the Queen of Swords and Ace of Swords are making me feel that there is a level of clarity that this person is gaining about, you know, how precious you are. But um, with the Oracles here... You might have family with this person. You might be in relationship with this person with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, and this Ace of Swords is a revelation that, you know, this person is entertaining other people two at a time as well. Especially with this energy. Um... Just one for the Knight of Swords. The Star. Seven of Pentacles. Look, I feel this person from the beginning knew that you're not going to entertain someone who, um, who's got other people on the side, who's, who's, you know, abusing substances. And this could be everything, anything, okay? This could be alcohol, this could be medication, this could be drugs, right? This is just a symbolic. Um... But essentially, I feel this person from the beginning knew that, you know, you're not going to take it. They knew you are the star. You're the one here with that central main, major, main star here. Um, there's a lot of court cards here. So with the oracles, it does make me feel that some other people were attached to this person or are attached to this person. Uh, the Queen of Swords is the, the, the tarot uh, divorcee. is someone who doesn't take... Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. Three of Swords. King of Swords, boy. And Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely here an energy talking about two people. Um, very likely for some of you, you might have family with this person. You might be married to this person. You might have children. There's a breakup. There's a divorce going on. Perhaps you discovered that this person, uh, your husband, wife, had someone on the side. 
Um, yeah. I feel whoever cut, you know, themselves out of this uh, toxic situation is really hoping for a new beginning elsewhere. This King of Wands here. Well, it looks like your person does want to... Let's see, tell me more about the King of Wands. Boy, the lovers. Ace of Cups. Who is this? Taurus. Your person believes that you too. Uh, meant to be together, you are the one, you much made in heaven. But with the Knight of Wands, excuse me, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, I feel this person is is going to do something right which is leave, leave you alone. Despite the fact that this person loves you, I feel this person has had some other people around. Um, I feel this person is Is going to go solo. Is going to go with the divorce of separation if that's the case. Or if that's not a family that you share, but is going to let you go. Because the, the Nine of Pentacles is making me feel this way with the Ace of Cups and the lovers sort of sitting on the side. I feel they want to, they want to go on their own, despite the fact that they also know they love you. I feel they are going to give you back your freedom. Um, simply because this person is aware how much heartache they brought into your life. They are still attracted to you, but I feel this person is um, is trying to do something right, despite the fact that there is a lot of, you know, um, red flags and toxicity around this person. I feel this person does care about you, and if you cut them out or they cut themselves out, um, it is this is a silver lining in this situation because this person cares cares about you. If they brought heartache, if they brought, you know, lies and deceit and um, uh, infidelity, they are going to do something right and let you go and be free. This could be Gemini. This could be Aquarius. Strong Aquarius, actually. Aquarius... Gemini, um, Virgo. Heart with a key. I feel this person knows that you've always been the one that I have effed up if they brought in heartache, deceit into your love connection, into your marriage, in family, if that is the case. If you don't have uh, a family together, but you have been together, but 
and you know that this person has had other people on his side um yes it feels like you are the one you are very special to this person this but they are going to let you go they are going to let you go solo because they care about you and i feel this person has an understanding of the fact that um they are not the best match for you not the best person for you at least not at this stage in their life with you know substance abuse and all the shady stuff that they bring into your connection so um yeah that's what i'm getting here let's see what else about astrology have we got some clarity here scorpio lily taboo yeah i feel this person wanted to experiment experiment with sex maybe that's why they um that's what lily is you could be dealing with scorpio taurus neptune I feel there is no more mystery here. I feel um, you figure that person out. I feel you, if this is your husband, wife or boyfriend, girlfriend, um, I do feel this person has feelings and because they have feelings, because they care about you, they are going to uh, do the right thing and release you, let you go, let you be free and let you find someone who doesn't bring drama uh, into their life. So this is what I can see. Taurus, thank you for your time and your energy. If you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if this resonates. Take care of yourself and I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye for now.